Confidence suits you. When earned, yes. You are proud. See, I never understood why pride was considered a deadly sin. The power you feel now after having completed an arduous task. Isn't it empowering? You've shown great promise. Done exceptional work. Don't you deserve something for it? Perhaps. But not from you. Before you make a tragic mistake, I'd like to make you an offer. You've seen the world. You've seen the state it's in. You're smart enough to know that someone, somewhere, has lied to you. There is no plan. There is no balance. It's all lies. But imagine if it were true. Imagine if you and I truly set out to give the world a direction. Order. Isn't that your true purpose? We could be the force for balance the world deserves. We could be greatness. At one time, that speech might have worked on me. But that was when I did not understand how ugly pride could be. Thank you for your generous offer, but if this world is to be fixed, neither of us will be the ones to do it. Yeah. <laughs> 
He knew. He too was proud. Tell me about the Council. Your so-called masters are infected with pride. They serve no balance. Who do you think released the Seven from our prison? What purpose do we serve without humanity to corrupt? Tell me my words do not ring true. You cannot deny the pride that still resides within you, can you? Enough empty flattery! Tell me everything. <laughs> you already know everything, mistress! The great irony here is that for once, your enemy is right. Do not. You only feel fear. Fear that you came this close to greatness, only to fall! See? Your counsel betrays you. Watcher! Always so pretty. I used to be so jealous of you, sister. Envy! <sighs> No! What else I envy? Your power! And thanks to our mutual benefactors, that power is mine!
pride had it right. The Charred Council set you up. They want us all dead. All seven sins and the horsemen. No! Oh, but I, I knew better. <laughs> Jealousy, man. Jealousy. I took the form of a trusted servant, and you, horseman, became both my sword and my shield. Destroy the Charred Council once and for all! Only then will the Earth finally be mine! <laughs> Pride goeth before the fall! <laughs> A bit on the nose, but the message is clear! You snore. Maybe it's a broken nose. Well, looks like you've been busy. Doing what, I have no idea, other than getting your ass handed to you. <sighs> Who are you, human? To speak to me like this? Oh, I'm just another refugee. Like you. But I'm not strong enough to defend the balance. That's your purpose. I... have learned... that I am weak. Well, maybe now you finally understand how all humans feel. Pulled into a war they never asked for. Left to their own devices against forces they cannot possibly understand or effectively fight. All of humanity has been betrayed. And yet... They still fight on. What about you? I strayed from the path. I have been jealous. I have been wrathful. I have been lazy. Oh, worse and more. All the things the seven sins stand for, and I have paid dearly for it. So in other words, you have lived. Yes. Good then. You're finally alive. And with life, there is always hope. Hope? I was humbled in my battle with Envy. No doubt she's on her way to destroy the Chard Council, even as we speak. And I remain stranded on Earth, so when you speak of hope, Human, I cannot concur. All hope is lost. <laughs> no. Haven is built on hope. Come, speak to Ulthe. You'll see. Did they help me? That's, uh, kind of what humans do. 
And the fact that you send more than a few survivors our way didn't hurt. All for naught. Well, envy holds the power of the Seven. Your betrayal can be seen on your face. Left for dead like some useless discarded thing. But it is not over. A reflecting pool? Aye, with a few adjustments. But it's only meant for you. Will only take you to your heart's desire. I desire only to finish what the Council began. Find your resolve, Horseman. It's all you have now. And it is what you need if you're to stop Envy and unseat your former masters. be of service if you came in to lay down a mighty heart tower. Interesting. All right. Let's see what I can do for you. This is it. I hope you know how. and judging that you've forgotten how to fight! You dare attack this holy sanctum! I do! I dare! Because no one else ever has! And that makes this eve sweet! You haughty sons of whores have had this coming for eons! And you have no one but yourselves to thank for it! Your lust for power will be your undoing, Envy! Well, isn't that the pot calling a kettle black? When I'm done here and you're nothing left but pebbles, I will simply wait out the apocalypse and destroy whatever weakened generals remain. The Earth. Will be mine! It's over, Envy! You have failed! Kill her, horseman! We command! Oh, shut up! You command nothing but my scorn, and you will know my fury soon enough! Bless me, Trent! Yield or die, Envy! <laughs>
your task, Fury. Perhaps you should be rewarded. But perhaps not. Envy may have caught us unawares, but we have more than enough power to deal with an insect like you. You have overstepped your bounds, horseman. You shall be punished along with your brothers like the impudent child you are. No! I will not die like this! I will 